Hi guys, it's Carl here. Today I thought I'd do a couple of things. First of all, I'll show you how to charge. Uh, there'd be a lot of people who've never charged an electric vehicle before. So I'm gonna show you how to charge from the home charger and then we're gonna to go to a supercharger and show you how they work. And then I thought I'd just do a bit of an efficiency test, show you what sort of economy and efficiency you might get using your Tesla day to day. Okay, so if you've got a charger at home, it's liable to be something like this. Okay, it's just a standard Type 2 charger, and it plugs into a, a wall socket. This is a, a Rolex, you have to get them professionally installed. And over there, of course, I've got my Tesla. So what you have to do is walk up and open the charge port. Now, if your car's unlocked, you'll be able to unlock it, but otherwise, you're going to have to get the Tesla app, and you will find there's a screen for charging, and when that's finished loading, open charge point, and there it loads. So I'll go and get the charger. <gasps> okay, that's what the end of the charging handle looks like. That is a Type 2 charger. Okay, standard Type 2 charger. Uh, you'll find a lot of these around. Later on, I'll show you a CCS charger. If you look at the Tesla itself, it's got space for a Type 2 at the top, and the CCS is Type 2 with that bit at the bottom as well. Plug that in, it's gone green to show it's charging. Okay, and if you look at the screen inside, uh, when you open the door, it is completely charged at the moment. You can see it actually says charging complete yes. because I'd already used it. Fantastic. All right, let's take it off charging now then. So to take it off charging, you need to hit the button that says unlock charge port. Uh, then unplug this, plug it back into your wall socket, and if you look at the Tesla, it closes the door itself. <gasps> okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have a run down the A1 to Grantham so we can see what the efficiency is like. Okay, so I've stuck in a route to the Grantham supercharger, and it's showing us that when we get there, it's 23 miles away, and we're going to be at 76%. Now, I've charged the car to 90%, which is what uh, Tesla recommend that you don't uh, charge it any higher than that for day-to-day -day use. If you're going on a long trip, it says charge to 100%, but for day-to-day -day use, to look after the batteries better, charge to 90%. So, let's go. Down in this information here, uh, it tells you how efficient you're being. This number here tells you how much fuel you're using. So, the lower that number, the better. So what you'll see is that the number will start off relatively high once we get going and then as you cruise it will start to come down. Okay so we've just arrived on the A1 and you can see we've currently uh, so far been going 288 watt hours per mile. Uh, so that's probably about 300, uh, sorry about three and a bit miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, now on a good run, the, the amount of miles per kilowatt hour you get is very dependent on the style of driving and the kind of driving. So if you're driving uh, 80 mile an hour down the motorway all day long, you're not going to get as good economy as if you're driving on, say, back roads where you're doing 50 to 60 all the time. Now that will obviously settle down as we go down uh, the motorway, but if you look over here, you can see that he said we'd have 76% range when we got to Grantham, and actually it's now saying 75. So and now it's saying 76 again. It's gone back up to 76. <laughs> so it does vary. It does intelligently work out what it thinks you're going to do. Uh, I'm going to stick to the speed limit, so I've got the cruise control on. Uh, the road's reasonably busy, so uh, you know I'm not going to be darting in and out of people all the time. Now. The other thing that you can see here, it says preconditioning battery for supercharger. What that means is that because it knows we're heading to a supercharger, it's going to set the temperature of the batteries specifically so it gets the most efficient charge. Now, we won't have gone that far by the time we get there. We'll only, it's only 20 odd miles each way, uh, and we're only doing it as a test. But if you arrived at the supercharger with say 10 or 15% battery, you'd obviously want to get the fastest possible charging when you get there. Uh, and that makes sure that if it knows you're going to a supercharger, it will do that for you. So here we are approaching Grantham Services. Uh, 
if you can see we've done 270 271 watt hours per mile uh, like I said before the lower that number the better uh, and we've done almost 24 miles uh, we've reached Grantham with about 76% left or 70, well it's now saying 77% left uh, so it's been relatively accurate all the way you just go down a little bit if you think you're driving a bit faster and it goes up a bit if you're driving more efficiently in 500 feet turn right so what i've done is i've just uh stuck to the speed limits let the cruise control do its job now over to our right hand side as we enter here you can see a row of superchargers and what we need to do is go up and reverse into one of those superchargers now, one of the things you do is you go to another supercharger site is you don't park next to another Tesla if you can avoid it. Because apparently the electricity is shared between the two. So it's much better to spread yourself around a bit so you get the most efficient charging. Okay, so we've positioned ourselves in front of the charger, sort of. I hate reversing. And thanks to this big camera, we can see and we'll just keep going a little bit further so we get as close as possible. I did find that when I used one of the superchargers that the cable was very short. I actually had to reverse as far as I could to physically hit the stop. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that here. And there we go, we just hit the rubber mat. Okay, so overall we've done 267 uh, watt hours per mile. Uh, it's been 24.3 miles, 268, it does change uh, all the time. We've got 76% left, which is what it said we would have. So, let's go and charge. Okay, so here we are at the supercharger site. We're currently at Grantham, just had a nice conversation with a Model S owner. It will open up and then you need to get one of these cables. Now there are two cables here, there's this one. Uh, the one you need is this one here, and that's a CCS cable. They're quite big hefty cables, you know, so they weigh quite a bit, but you shouldn't have any problems. And all you do is you plug that in there. There you go, it's charging, you can see it pulsing away. So this shows you the charge rate. So what it, that's telling you is the uh, rate at which it's charging, 33 kilowatts at the moment, then it's showing you how many miles you're adding per hour you're sat here. Now that's actually quite low, and one of the reasons it's low is that uh, the car's pretty much full. We're at 77% already, uh, so it, it tends to charge the last bits, the first bits and the last bits I think are done at a lower rate. So you will find that this varies. The highest number I've had there for miles per hour I think was 293. So one, that was when the car was reasonably empty. Uh, it's saying we've got 15 minutes. Uh, that's basically 15 minutes to get us back to 80%. So if you were here because you needed to use the bathroom or you want to get a drink or you were going to get a cup of coffee, you'd plug in, go in, come back out again, and your car would have a bunch more charge. Obviously, this isn't a particularly practical test because we've stopped here and we still had 76% left. Uh, but it just shows how easy and efficient they are. To stop charging, uh, to stop anybody just walking up and unplugging your cable, because people are idiots, then you have to be inside the car and press the stop charging button. And that's now unlocked the charger. Uh, take the cable out with both hands, shove it in there, and that's it. I think it's probably held on a magnet, or something like that. And you can see the door's closed itself. <gasps> So let's go back home. Yeah. I hope that's been useful, informative to you. I'll give you a little heads up when we get home of what we've done for the overall journey by showing you the second half of the journey and seeing if it makes much difference to the first half of the journey. But really easy. Superchargers are fantastic. They look like something from the future and they are. Okay, so back at home now. Uh, all you do is walk up, door will open. Disconnect your charger from your wall. Plug it in, and you can see it's flashing green to show that it's charging. That's all there is to it. Uh, it's just like getting home at night from work.
plugging your phone on charge or when when you go to bed no difference at all just remember to do it all the time tesla recommend that you leave it on charge all the time and then the software in the car will manage the battery for you intelligently so you don't have to worry about taking it off charge things like that one of the settings you've got in the car allows you to set how much you want the battery to charge to tesla recommend no more than 90 percent for day-to-day -day use but if you're going on a long journey you can just set it up to 100 percent like i said before all right i hope that's been useful and informative any questions just feel free to post a comment and i'll speak to you soon uh if you like what you see give us a thumbs up if you don't don't bother